Yarf! Yeah, I'm taking a little detour from the Yoshi's Theater. Whatever. Who cares? I'm already here. Might as well. I don't know if you heard me moving there. I was lying on my bed and decided to move. Burp. Too much water. What the hell is these guys talking about? Apparently, we're going to be working. And yes, there is a being started in the piece of the cage. I want to break up my hammer. Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Why can't I break the cage? Break the lock! Break the lock! Do something! Come on! This is dumb. You're the Mario Bros. Cage should be no problem for you. This is the weirdest looking bean ever. But anyway. There's actually a really annoying minigame later that you do with this, which just takes forever, and I'm not going to be showing that in any way, shape, or form. Because it's the most repetitive, stupid thing ever. Well, not maybe not ever, but it's really stupid. I love how even the sign has his glasses on them. Anyway, so, uh, if we do a decent job with his work, he will pay us with the Bean Star, which is going to be awesome. So we'll go ahead and do that. Come on. Yes, I am complaining, because you're annoying and you're angry at me. Stop being angry at me. Whatever I do to you. Anyway, so what happens is these bombs come out, you shoot them with water. You know, this work isn't really that hard. Those beans, people, those beans are just stupid. You hit them with uh, design bombs, they're called, I think, or design bomb bombs, and you make patterns. Um, well, there's, there's pattern bomb bombs, and then there's uh, design bomb bombs. Uh, you know, it's easier just a shot. So go ahead and get water ready, and then get ready to fire. Oh, well, he's going to explain to us. So, it just finds like, you're, you're shooting bombs onto a shirt. That's how you make your shirts. Your shirts are the simplest shirts ever, too. Everyone's made these designs before. They're not original at all. Alright, so you get a blue shirt. Or, you know, a red or a yellow. However, you can also mix colors. So you can get, um, you know, red, blue, yellow, orange, green, purple, and then if you get all three together, it's brown. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. This is called Splart. That's just... I mean, Splash and Art, obviously, but Splart? You really want to call your sport Splart. Really? Ugh. This name is Bleach. I mean, yeah, Bleach, Bleach, yeah, you get it, but jeez, you have the worst names ever, man. So you hit a Pattern Bomb, and you do that, um, each pattern will do that. If you hit two Pattern Bombs in a row, or Design Bombs, I'm gonna call them Pattern Bombs for clarity, uh, you'll get a Star Pattern. So you can either get Stripes, or Tropical Design, Polka Dots, Checkers, and if you hit two together, you get a Star. Alright, so basically you just to make the outfits he requests you. It's pretty easy. Hang on a second. Oh my god, why do I keep coughing before minigames? That happened with uh, the barrel as well. Alright, so anything of a red color. So basically you set the time things right, hit it right, and get it red. And because stars are awesome, look at a star. The annoying thing of this is you have to keep refilling yourself with water because you only get three shots, which is just the dumbest thing ever. Alright, we'll go ahead and get a star pattern. Look at that thing, that thing's beautiful. I'm a beautiful shirt designer. Luckily you only have to do four of these. The mi uh, mini game I mentioned earlier, to get something completely useless by the way, um, he wants yellow and a check pattern, so let's wait for a chance to get yellow. There we go. Um, you, have to do, you have to make like 20, no, 28 of these? Yeah, it just takes forever. 28 of these, and you have to get 28 different ones. I mean, you'll see soon enough when I actually do it, but it just takes forever. Uh, can we give me a good shot and check one here? I just want to take my time, make sure I don't screw this up. Oh, I kind of taken a shot there. This one right here. There we go. I don't want to screw this up. Alright, purple and polka dots. That means we have to combine red and blue. But that's not too hard. Alright, red and blue. Red and blue. Eh, could have gone for it there. I can do it for here. There we go. Purple, and you want a polka dots, right? Polka dot shorts. I remember watching that show as a little kid. I don't know if that was just a local thing or if that was everywhere, but yeah. Polka dot shorts was... Okay, no, it was kind of stupid, but whatever. That, that shirt looks hideous, ugh. Alright, brown and, brown and star. Brown and star, cool. That's the hardest one you can get, technically. Um, so you need to get all three colors here, so... This one, just take your time. Um, you'll get a good opportunity to hit this soon enough. Like, right? No. Here. And... Oh, come on, we need to get water again. Refill! And we just need a star. Could've just done it right there. That was easy. And there we go. He's all happy. Let's go get our star. Thunder. That's that definitely is the easiest bean star to get. That one just takes. I mean, I did this in the middle of the Yoshi's Island episode, I'm sure. So yeah, pretty easy. I wonder if I'll get two bean stars in this episode. No, probably not, but we'll see. That'd be kind of awesome if I did. 
Beanstar Gip. Alright, so um, he'll be back here eventually when we need to. Um, he's not going to be ready to do the minigame yet, but he'll eventually be back there and we'll have to do that game all over again. It will be really annoying. I think it probably after you get the Beanstar complete. That's when, when you get the Beanstar complete, a lot of new stuff opens up. So once we do that, we'll actually be probably be doing a bit of minigames. I don't know if I'll do that one right away, though, because that one's just annoying. Honestly, the item you get, totally worthless. So, yeah, I'll meet you where I need to be next. By the way, remember this spot and how much it pissed me off before? Get yeah, there's a Hoobean here. Just, just saying, Hoobean. Hey, don't ask how I got in a fight with bombs, but here we go. Advanced Command Get, and those bombs did not turn off, holy crap. Thunder Bros did not turn the bombs off. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Like, oh, okay. I still take damage, but whatever. Go away! Oh, nuts. Oh my god, I got a level for that, too. Well, that's convenient. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get Mario's level for a long, long time, so... Get a five. Four is more than good enough for me. Alright, we're not going to be getting Mario's for a while. Although, I do want to show off Thunder Bros. Um, that'll happen eventually. I'll get in a fight eventually, accidentally. I'm pretty close to where we need to be, I believe, though. Not over here, but... If I remember correctly, it's over, right up over here. I think. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away. Okay. Well, just for that, buddy, we'll show you Thunder Rose Advance. Not to you. Just when you... Okay, fine. Don't die. Um... Oh, what's one of these? I'm not sure if we can hit him with this. Oh, let's find out. So you do this. Then right away we press A. A. Oh, I've missed. Okay. Is it A or B that you hit there? I think you hit A. Yeah, you hit A for sure. I'll try that again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Fi he. Um, um, fire to you. Because I don't like you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Burn. 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 Oh, I hate Lakitu's. I hate Lakitu's. You almost burn. Thank you. Man, he still hasn't gotten it yet. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> what did I? What was I? What was I doing there? Okay, I'm gonna take the hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this off in this battle for God's sake. Okay, last try. Hit B, then A, then A, then B. There we go. Does quite a bit of damage too. Although that was a critical, so it doesn't really do that much damage. I don't think but it also will lower their power. Now, I'm not too good at it, so I'm... No, this isn't where I wanted to be. Where do I want to be? I want to be somewhere. Um, is it over here? It probably is over here, isn't it? It is over here. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... How do I get over there? No. I do it from over here. Okay. Um, so... That was completely unnecessary to begin with. Um... Yeah, it'll lower your power and do a decent amount of damage, but I'm mostly just focused on the defense drop. The defense drop is much more important. Alright, hit one of these. You can actually access this from, uh... Is it Teehee Valley that the desert place is? Um, because this is where the pirate ship actually exits out over here. Um, so you can actually come here using that path as well. You don't actually have to go through Derp Turtle, but there's no reason not to. I mean, who doesn't love running over a Derp Turtle? I love running over Derp Turtles, or Fat Koopas, or whatever you want to call them. I'm perp- I'm more fond of my uh, Derp Turtle name. Anyway, you do have to hit Luigi to go over there. Uh, this is where you exit out. As you can see, this is where we came out of the ship. Um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a bean fruit right there. Oh my god, it's so easy. So yeah, you have to go with Luigi to get this. Um, but it's not going to be as easy as you think. It's never as easy as you think it's going to be, is it? And unfortunately, we have to do this with a Luigi by himself. So let's go ahead. It's a bean fruit. Oh my god, it's Petey Piranha. Or, well, it's not really Petey Piranha, but it's a piranha with wearing underwear. I don't know. But yeah, he eats the fruit, and yeah, that's right. We have actually to fight a boss with Luigi by himself. Didn't happen in Guafafa Runes, but we have to ha happen now. Although we, it's only the normal music, and he's not that hard. He just... It's A. Oh, damn it! Okay, come on. Wow, what am I doing here? That was just... God! I believe Hand is super effective, though. Yeah, it is. And of course we can keep healing, so this is just going to be a long, boring fight. You can get a, a rare drop from this guy, too. What the hell is that thing? What the hell? Well, okay, you probably can recognize what that is. And I need to stop taking damage if this is gonna work. Alright, no more damage. Let's just keep healing. This is gonna be a long fight with Luigi only doing 26 damage at a time. 
There's no way I counter him either. Oh, damn it, stop it. There we go. I should have given him the Excite Spring first. That would have made this fight a lot easier. Um, you do get a rare drop from this guy, but it doesn't really matter which drop you get. Um, both drops are pretty good. Oh, come on, that didn't hit me. I'm gonna lose this fight if I keep getting hit. Well, that's pretty easy to heal. He doesn't do that much damage. Only 8 at a time or 9 at a time. Not too threatening. Alright, fireballs. Stop faking me out. That's not cool. Ugh. <sighs> In the funny thing, if it wasn't a critical, it would, I'd be only doing 13 damage, normally. So this is just a battle of long stupidity. With, what's his name? Prana Bean? It's a Bean Prana. It's a Prana that got that Bean Fever that Mario got. <laughs> I don't know, that thing just looks weird, though. It doesn't really look like a Bean. I mean, it's shooting like a Bean-like thing out at me. Stop shooting... F Ugh, that timing is just so weird, because it just alters its timing. Maybe I'm just stupid. Well, that wasn't too long. Okay, it doesn't have that much health, whatever. You actually get a Piranha Swing for that. Um, there is a rare drop, I think it's the Piranha Suit. Don't know what it does at the top of your head, but we're going to be getting items that are really good soon anyway, so... The Piranha Swing, I think, is something good enough we can put on, though. But yeah. Oh my god, it's Prince Peasley, and he's not actually making us the screen flash, but yeah. He's small, what happened with that? Oh my goodness. And Luigi's like, come on, what are you doing? And yeah, of course Luigi is the one to save Prince Beasley. I don't know. Yes, apparently he got shrunk somehow. I don't know how he got shrunk, but who cares. But Luigi knows how to unshrink people because he does it with Mario all the time, right? So, Prince Beasley is like, what? You want to hit me with your hammer? You're a real zero. Oh, Luigi, stop rushing. He just insulted you. Stop flashing your hair. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ugh. I have to do it. I have to save this arrogant jerk. Yeah, I don't like your shine. Stop flashing the screen. No one wants to see that. But yeah, he does give us the bean fruit they found inside the thing's stomach, because apparently finding something in someone's stomach is a good gift to give. Lucky for him, though, we need the bean fruit. And little does he know that bean fruit is the key to getting a bean star piece, because, you know, don't forget, he's raising us to get the bean star pieces, and he isn't going to lose. Except he is, because we're better than him. No, you just gave us the key to get the next bean star piece, buddy. You fail. You fail. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, Luigi, you're so funny. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where the heck's Mario? Mario, get over here. Mario, get over here. No, don't leave Luigi behind. Get over here. Thank you. He just tried to ditch Luigi. Did you see that? He just tried to ditch Luigi. All right, I'll meet you back in Yoshi Theater. So I kept walking to the west for a while, and then I realized that I just completely missed Yoshi Theater, because I'm an idiot. All right, let's go take care of this. Two more bean fruits to feed. And then we can get this stupid area done with. I love those posters, though. Those posters are cool. Alright, there's one right here. Give me your fruit! Eat my fruit! My fruit's delicious. I love my fruit. Alright, who bought an egg? Yay! Luckily, for some reason, we're always lucky enough to get neon eggs from all these. Even though these really don't look that neon-y. They just kind of look like eggs. I never knew Goshi eggs were supposed to be able to glow. Here's the other one. Hello, little buddy. Eat my fruit. So happy. God, now I'm just copying Nintendo Creep pretty some of that line, but he is so happy. That's just the epitome of so happy. You can't get more so happy than that. That's just so happy happy. He's so, so happy. And you know what? I, you know what? I'm so, so happy too, because I'm about to get a bean star piece. Here you go. Take those neon eggs. Isn't that a much more appropriate sign for a Yoshi Theater? That bean star just it was just not very aesthetic, you know? It was very ugly, actually. So, you know, you're doing yourself a favor. And there we go, the sign's complete. The eggs are no longer have a single color because they apparently can just completely flash all different colors. Banzai! Or Banzai, I don't know. Bean Star Get! I don't know why I keep saying that, but who cares? That's three out of four pieces. The fourth one's a bit harder to get. It does involve another minigame, though, which is kind of funny. It's actually a really fun minigame, though. Well, it involves a minigame and a boss fight, so it's actually pretty hard to get. And I'm going to be doing that in the next recorded session, because I've been recording for far too long. And now I have to fight another guy because I'm stupid. Hey, oh my god! We actually got Fire Bros Advance, that's awesome. I wasn't expecting to get that so early. But hey, I meant I could shut off in this video before I end this recording session. That's crazy. Um, well, I don't want to kill this guy now, so... Um, 
I'll go ahead and just take this turn to give us. You know, I need to stock up a more seer before the boss, or well, before the next area. Well, maybe I don't. I don't think I'm not. You know, I don't think there's any enemies, so I have to worry about. It. I'm not gonna hit. It's gonna let him hit me. All right, I'm gonna shut off Firebird Advance right now. This move is awesome, and I'm good at this one, so this shouldn't be a problem. All right, so you do the usual. Except every time you hit B, you hit A then, and jump up and actually stop the fireball in midair. So you can build up a super fireball. This reminds me of like the spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z, which is such a nerdy reference to make, but... Oh shoot. Okay. Oh, I, sh I didn't show that off right. Uh, I want to show it off. Okay, well, I'll show it off next time. Um, basically you build up a giant fireball, and, you and then Mario jumps up and spikes into the opponent, and it does a lot of damage. It's all like in one hit, so it's not like Chopper Rose, we just do a, like, a repeat damage. You know, I'll, actually, if I think about it, the next fight I'm going to be having is going to be uh, against a boss, I believe, because I don't think there's any enemies in the next area. So, I'll be using this against a boss, and I'll be using it against someone really funny, and he'll be getting some nice fireballs to the face. So that'll be next time. I'm going to meet you guys in Chucklehuck Woods, because that's where the last Bean Star piece is going to be. So, Chucklehuck Woods, and that's, or Chucklehuckle, whatever the hell I used to say that. Um, and I'm going to end this now before my voice runs out. So this is Lucky7DX, thanks for batting with my cold, and uh, I will see you guys next time for Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. L7DX, signing out.